this video is part of a multi-part series. I recommend that you watch the previous editions, which will be linked in the description below before you watch this one. Princess Leia has arrived back to the rebel base on Hoth, this following her meeting with the old Jedi Obi-Wan Kenobi. She intended to bring him back with her, but fate drove the wrong entities to the planet of Tatooine. The that she met the Jedi, Darth Vader followed, bringing his son, Luke Skywalker, along to bring an end to his old Jedi Master. Before Kenobi was killed, he told Leia that she must go to Dagobah and find Master Yoda. Before she could go there, she had to inform the Rebellion of the next move. In the command center of Echo Base, multiple rebel leaders met, including the likes of General Harrison Dula, General Han Solo, General Nadine, and Admiral Akbar. They discussed things such as battle tactics, possible rebel synthesizers, and Jedi assistants. Leia asked Hera about the Jedi that were with her back when the Rebellion was just in cells. Hera informed her that those Jedi lost their lives long ago during the Battle of Yavin 4. As the meeting between the rebel leaders continued, up the galaxy on the planet of Mustafar, the young Luke Skywalker raided the arrival of his father, Darth Vader. His training was set to begin, and he thought about the future that stood before him, a future that saw him ruling the galaxy alongside his father. As he sat and thought, a cloaked figure approached Luke and informed him that Lord Vader had arrived. Luke followed the figure to the landing pad. The once flowing lava rivers had been slowed by the dam created by the castle, created in honor of Vader. A ship made its way to the pad and landed. Out stepped the Dark Lord himself, alone. He stepped slowly to his son, and the two began walking towards the entrance of the castle. Vader began to tell his son what was to happen now. Here your training will begin. You will learn how to wield a lightsaber. You will be pushed to your limits. You will learn the dark side of the horse. Luke looked down towards the ground and questioned his training, saying that he doesn't even have a lightsaber. Vader then stopped his steps and reached to his side. He pulled out the same lightsaber that Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker once wielded. This will be your weapon until you learn to construct your own. Luke wondered where the saber came from, and Vader explained that it was found in the hut of Kenobi after he killed him. The father and son began walking again as the doors closed behind them. Back on Hoth, the meeting between the rebel leaders had just ended as General Nadine approached Leia about where she was headed. Princess, aren't you headed for the rendezvous point at Teleris? Leia informed Nadine that she had business elsewhere first, business that would possibly help the rebellion a great deal. She approached the rebel soldier and told them to prepare an A-Wing fighter for her. She then made her way to the hangar, looking only towards the A-Wing and the exit. The soldier that she had spoken to earlier informed her that her ship was ready, and then asked if she wanted an escort. Leia simply told the soldier that this was something that she had to do alone. She entered the small A-Wing fighter and made way for Dagobah. As Leia made way for Dagobah in search of Yoda, Luke stood in silence in the middle of a grand chamber within the halls of the castle of his father. He was alone in his dark thoughts that began to cloud his mind. His thoughts about his actions in killing Obi-Wan Kenobi. He thought about the countless rebel lives he had already ended in his time as a stormtrooper. Then suddenly, training orders flooded the room. Luke quickly activated his saber and began to deflect incoming blaster bolts from the orbs. One by one he took them out, but one managed to land a shot to his shoulder. It was then that the orbs that remained stopped and returned from where they came. As Luke stood in silence again, the wall to his left began to rise. Smoke filled the area behind it and one could see the silhouette of Darth Vader approaching Skywalker. Luke then kneeled before his father as Vader made his way to his son. He paused in front of him. Your skills with a lightsaber are not exceptional. Luke apologized to his father, but Vader wasn't quick to accept it. If you cannot deflect blaster bolts, how do you expect to stop the Emperor? Luke was left with no response as Vader gave the next order. You report to the isolation chamber. There you will wait until I release you. Luke then stood from his kneeling position and made way for the isolation chamber. At the swamp planet of Dagobah, the A-Wing starfighter, piloted by Leia, made his way to the surface. It landed in a rather safe area. Leia emerged from her starfighter and surveyed the swamp around her. Up ahead she saw a cave with a little green figure standing at his entrance. She approached the figure and asked if he guarded this place. The figure responded, Only a watcher am I now. 
Leia then asks that he must know all the living creatures that live here if you watch over them. The green figure responded by nodding his head in approval. Then Leia asks if he knew Yoda. The figure paused and responded, Yoda? You seek Yoda? Leia was excited as it seemed that she was indeed in the right place. The figure then asked, Leia, your name must be. Leia then responded yes, with a smile still across her face. The figure then stepped down from his perch where he was sitting. He walked along a path that led to a small hut. He motioned for Leia to follow him. She questioned if Yoda was expecting her because of the fact that the figure knew her name. The green figure then told Leia to step into the hut and wait. She did just that and waited for almost an hour. Then she heard a familiar name call out to her. Leia! It was the voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi. She jumped up and rushed outside the hut, looking around the swamp to find the source of the voice. As she stood still, a blue figure began to appear before her, saying her name still. The figure that began to appear as Obi-Wan Kenobi. She couldn't believe that what she was seeing was real. She asked if that was really Kenobi. He approached her and began to explain what she was seeing. Leia, there is much to say, but there is little time. Know that you have found Yoda. Leia quickly interrupted him, saying that she has no idea where Yoda is. The green figure from earlier began to walk towards Leia, saying that he was in fact Yoda. Leia was confused and Kenobi began to explain further. It is a dark time in the galaxy. Dark times have the risk of growing darker. To put it simple, the evil known as the Sith has just gotten stronger. Leia looked at Kenobi, wondering what he could even be talking about. Leia, there's no need in hiding it anymore. The man called Vader is your father. Leia was quick to disprove this, saying that her father was a politician, a senator. Her father was Bell Organa. Kenobi listened to Leia's response with a hanging head. No, that was said to protect you both when you were born. Vader was seduced by the dark side. When that happened, the good man that was your father was destroyed. Leia looked even more confused now, asking what did Kenobi mean when he said both. You also had a brother. His name was Luke. But now, Leia interrupted saying that he speaks as though he is dead. Vader found him and is training him in the ways of the dark side. And now there's only one hope left to destroy the evil as times before us all. Leia asked who, and Yoda chimed in to answer. You. This made Leia speechless. She knew what they were saying, but she couldn't process it. Two legendary Jedi, one talking to her from beyond the netherworld of the Force, were saying that she had to become a Jedi herself. She walked away, headed back to her A-Wing when Obi-Wan called out. Leia, stop. I know this is a lot to take in but you are the only hope to restore peace and freedom to the galaxy. Leia paused, looked towards the ground, still speechless. She then stepped back towards Kenobi and Yoda and spoke. What about the rebellion? They need me. I can't just leave and begin training as a Jedi. Kenobi then informed her that this was the way to go. Trust me, Leia. Doing this will help the rebellion far greater than anything else you could have done. Leia paused looking at Kenobi and Yoda, then answered, If it is my destiny, then I will follow it. This was the continuation of the What If Luke Joined the Imperial Academy series. I'm glad that those who have watched it have enjoyed it so far. If you haven't seen the previous additions to the series, there will be links in the description below. And be sure to leave a like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Also, stay tuned because more additions will be coming in the future and maybe even the start of a new What If series. Until the next time, may the force of others be with you.